going on everyone? My name is Jonathan. So today we're going to be talking about scratch start and tap start with the SMAW process. So for you beginner welders out there, what you're going to really want to practice on at first is the scratch start method. The tap start method is a little bit more difficult, but it will come with practice and time. All right. So when you go to scratch start, what you're going to do is you're going to take your rod and you're slowly going to drag it across the plate. Once you get about an inch dragging it, you're gonna lift up about an eighth of an inch off that metal. That's gonna establish our arc. Once your arc gets established, your puddle's gonna start to form. Once your puddle's formed, you can continue welding. All right, so with the tap start method, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this rod and you're gonna tap it slightly and quick on this piece of metal all right, same thing. When you come up, you wanna come up about an eighth of an inch. All right, so you tap, come up, and then you start to form the arc, you form the puddle, and then you start to drag. Okay, so the reason why for beginners they wanna do the scratch start method is with the tap method, a lot of people wanna tap this rod down and it gets stuck to the plate. If that happens, what you wanna do if your rod gets stuck and you tap and your rod's stuck, go ahead, squeeze the handle, remove the rod from the stinger, and then you can break it loose. Now I'm gonna give you a demonstration live how to do the scratch start method and the tap start method. We're gonna start with the tap start method, all right? All right guys, so that's the difference between scratch start and tap start. Just remember, when you're first starting out and you're learning, try to stick with that scratch start method. Once you get more in tune with everything, start working on that tap start. All right, hope everybody has a good one. See you next time.